So, if I was to tell you that I happened to have been in the back parking lot of a church and I saw a dinosaur, would you believe me? No. What if I told you that I was at the mall and I saw a giant long neck rhinoceros? No? Yeah. All right, all right. Well, let me see now. What if instead I told you that I was at the zoo and I saw a giraffe? What do you think? Would you believe me? You would believe me because Giraffes are real things, and they hang out at the zoo. Okay, cool. All right, so this is where the story begins. So we're, we're remembering back to a time when uh, Jesus walked the earth, and he had disciples uh, who he really loved. And if I use this marker, I will cover myself in black, so we will use a different color. Um, yeah, so... Uh, so he had uh, disciples. He had 11 disciples at this point because he'd already risen from the dead. And in fact, 10 of those disciples saw Jesus risen from the dead. And remember, he, he went to the cross and then he came back to life three days later on Easter Sunday. And so these apostles saw him and they were hiding out in this room. And uh, they told the apostle Thomas, who hadn't been there, they said, we saw the risen Jesus. And Thomas said, yeah, I'll, I'll believe that when I see it. Uh, in fact, what Thomas said was, I'm not going to believe it unless I can put my hands directly in the wounds. And so Jesus shows up. He actually came into a room. It was actually a locked room. And Jesus says to Thomas, listen, buddy, it's okay. I don't mind that you're having trouble believing. And there's the wound right there. He says, I tell you what, you take a look right at my hands and my side and you stick your hands in there. It's okay. Well, Thomas can't believe what he's seeing at first, but then he realizes it's true. There's Jesus. And he says, to Jesus, my Lord, my Lord, and my God, because he wasn't a skeptic anymore. That's what that word is. Skeptic means to not believe something, and he's turned from a skeptic into a believer. And Jesus said to him, well, you see me here, and I think that's wonderful that you believe, but much more blessed will be people who never saw and yet still believed. And so we, who are the people who believe the witnesses, like Thomas and the 10 and 500 other people who supposedly saw it and the and all the letter writers and the epistles, we believe those witnesses and Jesus blesses us for that. And that's the end of our, our story for today. And so let's have a quick prayer. Here we go. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us even when we have questions or doubts. Help us to believe in you and trust in your amazing love for us even though we can't see you. We're thankful for the stories in the Bible that help us to know you better. In your name we pray. Amen. All right.